lots of fun. Superbook fell off a shelf. Look what they've done. Today's story... The Good Left Arm! At the house just down the street and around the corner, Chris and Joy seem to have a problem. Try the computer again, Chris! I am trying, but see, it won't go on. You stupid computer! Compute! Take it easy. You'll hurt it. It's already hurt, Joy. We're in trouble now. You said it. Without it, we can't get in touch with your cousin and Gizmo at all. I know. Are you playing with that thing again, Chris? Here comes your father. Come downstairs and help me sort some relics. Chris, no. But I'm trying to fix the computer. Oh, broken again? Machines are so unreliable, aren't they, son? Frankly, this thing is wasting the space it takes. We should get rid of this rubbish heap. Right. Huh? Oh, oh hello, hi, Mr. Mother. Keeper. Well, my dear, for once you agree. I guess you want me to have this room for storing my relics. Oh, it isn't suitable for that. Mm -hmm. But it would make a perfect sewing room for me. <laughs> Let's see. Of course, I'll want a different color scheme, so I'll buy a new carpet and matching drapes. And Oh, yes, I'll need a new sewing machine, of course. <laughs> Chris? Huh? Take that awful machine to the dump right away. Yes, do. Uh-oh, something's burning. Oh, I forgot the gingerbread I'm baking. Oh, dear. Say, Professor, what's that noise I hear in your office? What? Oh, perhaps there's a robber stealing my ancient relics. They're priceless. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, we don't have time to laugh. Stop! Yeah, that's right. We have to try the computer. Come on. Try to find Ephraim. Yuri planned to go there next. They're probably there, but we can't see them. Yes, Cousin Yuri and Gizmo the Robot are in the vicinity of Ephraim, continuing the search for their dog Ruffles, who's lost in ancient Israel. Hmm, nothing but mountains. I don't think Ruffles would like it here. I don't either. Let's go on. Hmm? Yeah. Somebody! They may know hey! where Ruffles is, I hope. Wait for Gizmo. Yes, Father. What is it? Since I'm not feeling well, I want you to go see the King of Moab for me. It's time to pay our annual taxes. But King Egon's wrong to demand such an exorbitant tribute each year. That may be true, my son, but we've still got to pay him. You know as well as I do what the King's capable of. If we do withhold the tribute... But, Master, he's robbing you blind. Besides whatever taxes he wants you to pay, he's making you turn over part of your crops and livestock. If this goes on, he won't leave you enough to keep yourself going. No, I won't let that happen. Huh? I've made up my mind. I want to free our people from that tyrant. We've been suffering here from his cruelty and avarice so many years, it's about time it must stop. So I'm not going to go to him and take him any more tribute. Wait, son. Oh, oh master. There was peace in the land under the great judge, Othniel. But after his death, the people of Israel forgot their Lord and turned to sinful ways, worshipping pagan idols. So God allowed them to be conquered by King Eglon of Moab. Guess the man who's king must be real spiteful. Bad as bad can be. I know what. Let's go see if we can find King Eglon's palace. Dear Heavenly Father, hear my prayer. Have mercy on my people. 
For 18 years, the Israelites have suffered under King Eglon. You, O oh Lord, sold us into the hands of the Moabites to punish us for breaking your commandments and serving false gods. But now we repent of our sins. Forgive us and let us throw off the yoke of our oppressors. Show me the way that I may free my people. Please, Lord. When the people of Israel cried unto the Lord, he raised up Ehud. Thank you, Lord. Ehud, the son of Gerah the Benjaminite, was to free the Israelites from the iron rule of King Eglon of Moab, which they had endured for 18 long years. I'll try, Lord. May I prove worthy of your trust. For my people's sake, I must, so they will not perish. The Spirit of God is upon me. Now I know what I must do. Mitchell, Mitchell, prepare to leave at once on a trip to the capital. Bring along the silver and gifts for the king. There you are, sir. All packed. Let's go. Dear Detroit. Father? We're leaving, sir. Eel, while you're at the king's palace, try not to make any trouble or offend him. Don't worry. Please take care, will you, while I'm away on the trip? Yes, but hurry back. What are you waiting for? Must be setting off. Oh, I'm on my way now, Father. Goodbye. Goodbye, Father. God be with you. Dear Lord, please watch over my father till I return. He's in poor health, thanks to our oppressors. All the more reason why I must overcome them. Don't worry, Father, I will, for the Lord is with me. Bill, don't take our belongings. We pay the tribute if we were able. Stop! Oh, Captain, please, don't take my wagon. Huh, why shouldn't we? I'm a delivery man. That's my business. We'll starve to death if you take my only means of making a living, Captain. Have mercy. All I ask is my wagon. Get away, you. We have to obey the king's wishes. Get out. Master. <laughs> Come, dear. Uh, <laughs> ah! Bella! Huh? No, let me go! Bella! Father! Come on! Oh. No! Oh, Let's go! Don't take my daughter away from me, I beg you! <laughs> I'll pay the king's taxes, but let the girl go. We'll get the money for you somehow. Yeah, sure. We've heard the same thing before, Hyman. Promises don't suffice. We're taking Bella this time. No, where's your heart? My Bella, it's my only... Quiet! Oh, oh no! Oh. Hey, you're coming with me. Huh? To be a slave at the palace by the king's command. No! No! Uh, Help! Come on. Oh. Help! Come on. <laughs> Mitchell, help him. Master. Officer, wait up. Huh? Wait up for a home. Interested in some silver? Release Bella and it'll be yours. Silver, you say? Ah, a 
I brought it to give to the king. Here, this is a present for him. Mm -hmm. All right, take the girl. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. Sir, you were awfully kind to do that to help me. My father can't repay you right now. But when he's well and can work again, he shall. I'm glad I was able to help you out. Forget the money, please. Thank Sir. you. Oh, Father, here I am. Excuse me. We should get going now, sir. Mm-hmm. Coming. Bella, may I call you that? Of course. This is a bad time, but with God's help, I'm sure that it will soon end. Pray God to free us from Moab. <laughs> Somehow he gives me hope that the Lord will listen. I've come on my father's behalf, Your Highness. His name is Gira. Yes, I remember him. A text bearer to my heart. He knows how to please me. It seems he not only sent me the tax he owes, but a generous gift as well. That's right, sir. May I go, please, now? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Go on home by yourself. But why? <laughs> because there's another piece of business I've got before I'm heading back. Father may get upset, but tell him I said everything's fine. Don't be foolish, sir. I'm not being foolish. Why don't you allow me to go along and help you then? What do you mean, Nisho? I worry that you're going back to the palace to make some trouble. I know what you think of the king, and I've got a feeling you're planning to do something about it. Something risky. Nisho, you're imagining. Please go. All right, but I can't promise you I won't worry. Him. Goodbye, Master. Do be careful. Stay out of the way of the King's soldiers. I will. Goodbye, Mitchell. Now then. The son of Gira wishes to see you again. We'll find out what he wants. Sir, we tried, but he has a message to give you. In private, he says. Message? Wait outside. I'm intrigued. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you for granting my request, Your Majesty. Yes, yes. But tell me what the secret message is. But, sir... Mm. All right. Come closer. Ah, uh, yes. That would be better, Your Majesty. Who sent me this mysterious message? Well, answer. It's God it's from. On the way home to Ephraim, I received it from God. This message is from God? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm? <clears throat> Speak up. What was the divine secret? Wait. Move up here beside me, Eard. Yes, sir. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> This good right arm might be used to murder me. With it up, you won't be able to put me down. <laughs> but, sir, you know my father. Why do you mistrust me? I'm not a fool. Trust you. From reports, I know my Hebrew subjects all would like me dead. Maybe they have sent you, not God. Well, what is the truth? God sent me. Then prove it. Stop stalling and tell me what he said. Well, he said you should die.
Majesty? Your Majesty, are you all right? Why doesn't he answer? Something's wrong. The doors are locked. Break them down! <laughs> Someone's murdered the king. It was Ehud! After him! <laughs> Move! Oh! Out of the way! Listen, Mitchell, I killed King Eglon for God and Israel with my good left hand. <laughs> what? The king was caught off guard. What he forgot is the fact that I might have a good left hand. How scary. Believe me, sir, I never dreamed you were planning to do something as drastic as that. With the king gone, now is the time for the Israelites to attack the capital. The Lord is with me. He will lead us to victory. Oh, master. Mitchell, we mustn't waste time now. Prepare the men to go fight the enemy right away. Right. We'll all make ready, Master. No, don't. Father. Ehud, what a terrible mistake you'll make. For what? Why, Father, we have to. Quiet. It's foolish to battle Moab. Do you realize what an army they have? It's impossible to win against them. Father. They hate us, and they'll want to have revenge for the death. Possibly they have their troops called out to look for you already. Oh, why ever did I permit you to make that trip to Moab? Ooh. Master, take it easy. Father, you've ruined your health by working night and day to be able to make enough money for taxes. I couldn't stand to see the king destroy you and all the Israelites. Father, you needn't be anxious. Because God is with me, I can drive the Moabites off. You can't be sure. I am, sir. My master received the blessing of the Lord from him. Have faith. Pray for us. I will. I'm frightened, but I'll do my best to trust God. Yes, sir. Thank the you. Spirit. Mm. God's will be done. Amen. Amen. Mitchell, it's time. Hmm? I'll call the men to arms. Right. We're with you. We'll vanquish the foes of Israel, for that's the will of God. He's put the Moabites at our mercy. Come follow after me. Let's march! Oh! Dear Lord, have mercy on me. Protect my son Ehud and send him home safe and victorious. All being led by Ehud? And besides, we heard the God of Israel's with him, too. We can smell defeat. Coward! Why should you worry? We don't believe in their God. Round up our regiments at once and prepare to defend the capital! Did you hear that? You should. Your Highness, we give you our promise that we'll defeat them and avenge your murder. <laughs> destroyed all 10,000 of the enemy. Israel's freed from Moabite rule. Praise the Lord, Master. That's it for time. Yes, sir. Man there before, right? That 
Could it have been a trick? <laughs> 